uh, hier zit ik, dat denk ik, I left the house, uh, half past 12. Um, delivery came, so that's half past 12, dinner time, Wednesday. Um, this is the actual pinpoint that was damaged, the, uh, the mind lab. No, Pro 5, it's in its silver box, so I'm going to leave it that way. I'm going to take it out, I'm going to try and potentially trade it for another one. Just to be quite honest, I think these mind lab Pro pointers are pretty naff. Um, not very good track record. I've bought two and both gone wrong. Um, I'll tell you about this one in a minute. I only bought that three days ago and that's uh, buggered already. But anyway, this is the, uh, the one there. Yeah, they've sent me a brand new one. So I actually posted this four o'clock Monday evening and I got it back Wednesday dinner time. And uh, yeah, no email, no nothing from them. Just they checked out the old one, I suppose, and sent me a brand new one in its sealed box. Yeah, excellent. So that was a result. Uh, right, so down to this one here. Now, um, the first day I got it, it started out, it didn't sound right, and that wasn't any, that was straight out of the box, but the batch was in. So, I, you know, I thought I was just doing something wrong, messing with the seconds or something like that, but evidently not. So, anyway, I took it out to the beach. It was working for a little bit, and then when I started submerging it in any sort of water, you know, like you dig a scoop out or two, you were down into six inches, maybe less water, and you slightly cover the speaker. See, from there to there, my hand width is less than six inches. So, uh, yeah, and anyway, this is a, a waterproof. Um, this is meant for going in the water, it's the best one they do. Right. So anyway, um, I brought it home. Yesterday it was acting up all funny. I mean, I used it for about half an hour, put it in the water, then I was buggered up. You know, what with the waves and the, and the noise and everything, you could not hear it. I literally had to turn the detector off, turn it on, and it just vibrates. And if you stick it in water, it's ridiculous. Uh, also as well, this doesn't like going in a puddle. Um, it will just sound off with nothing in the water. And that's, that was from the get-go. Anyway, I'll turn it on now. It's working. I've cleaned it, dried it, and everything, as you can see where the speed port is. But, um, yeah, very bad design, I think. So, like, it works now. Uh, let me find something metallic. Yeah. The fires. Right, that's fine, that's okay. Right. Now, now it's sounding off now for no reason. There's nothing, there's nothing near it. Ridiculous, now it turns itself off, so you know there's problems already, but at least the sound is working. Right, we'll stick it in the water. Right, we'll, stick, um, we'll stick a piece of lead in the water, look. Okay, so right, it finds it, right, submerge it, right, like you do on the beach, that it's not gonna, right, right, it's, it's knackered now, basically. Now, can you imagine that hot, nearly half a day with the sound of the waves? And people around you, and obviously the music coming off the beach and all, all that carry on up above near where the, uh, the fairground is. You would not hear nothing, and it would drive it. You might as well not have a pinpointer. And look, right, so I'm blowing the speaker. Yeah, nothing. Right, and I tried my utmost yesterday to try and get this to work. I even had another chap look at it. And he says, I was probably something you're doing, doing wrong. So I came home, looked on the net, to see if, what problems are the settings on that. Yeah, no, it's down to the speaker, just poor design. Um, obviously, it's a waterproof speaker in there, but that doesn't do anything. You know, it's a flipping ridiculous. So uh, this one's going to have to be sent off. Um, I got it from Crawford, so, you know, a good company. I think it's, it's nothing to do, it's not their fault, it's just faulty materials. Now, I'm not quite sure whether these are actually made in Malaysia or not. But uh, I actually bought a CTX brand new when I was in Australia and straight out the box, turned it on, wouldn't, wouldn't start up, it just had the start up screen in it and it was frozen. And I tried that for about a day, turn off, on, off, and that wouldn't, so that had to be sent back. So that out the box, that didn't work. Now, out the box, this didn't work. So I think a lot of them, these is an Australian company, pretending to be American, I think, and made in Malaysia, and that's the big problem. Uh, don't get anything manufactured in Malaysia. I lived in Singapore for seven years and uh, I've had a lot of business done in Malaysia and uh, it's just crap, really, really crap. You can't trust half of it anyway. Majority of it's fake. But I'm not saying this is fake, it's just, just bad, uh, badly built. Anyway, see the lights on and everything. 
it was crap, see look. It's been out of the water for a minute or so, two, two three minutes while I've been talking, and uh, yeah, it's absolutely rubbish. So that's, it's literally no good to me as a waterproof pinpointer. So if any of you lads can recommend um, which one to get that, you know, I know the Garrett Carrot's supposed to be a good one. I already had one that lasted me a year. Uh, as you know, Garrett's, they, they only last 12 months, and as soon as the warranty's run out, you're buggered. And you'll, you'll pay probably a little bit more or the same amount. I think that was about 120 quid. Now, this one that I've sent back cost me actually nine pounds um, with insurance because I had to cover it for 120 quid if it got damaged or lost. So now they're going to obviously tell me to send this one back and that's going to cost me another nine quid on top of what I already paid and that was only three days ago, which is not really on. So come on to my lab, get your act together lads, it's not flipping hard. Make a sealed unit with a high powered buzzer inside, I don't know, nine volt battery that should flip in last you a good half a day on, on a good sound, sounding machine. But there you go. Anyway, I thought I'd let you know, and a uh, bit of a rant, but uh, you know, it's understandable. Not fair, really, is it? Okay, if any of you lads have had the same problems and think, please uh, post it for us. All right, then, cheers. Thanks. All right, there's, you know, turn it off and on. Right, still acting up. This is an hour later. Okay. Still buggered. Right. <laughs> How can anyone operate that way? Oh, well, just thought I'd show you. So this is literally an hour later and it's, it's still knackered. So not really good, is it? All right.